Okay, so like many of you who have been doing this for a little while now, you probably own an aperture light. I know I own plenty of them. I have the 120D, the original one. I have the Lightstorm panel. The I have the MX-9. I have another Amaran something. I have a spotlight. I have a couple of little battery power lights. I just like, I got a bunch of them. But you know what? I'm done with them. I'm a little done with them. All right, so I've definitely had some good experiences with their lights, but I've had some pretty bad experiences with their customer service. I think it's garbage. Okay, so the problem I've been having is with my 120D. Yes, admittedly, it's a few years old, but it's only a few years old. I expected this light, especially a light I've spent several hundreds of dollars on, to last more than just a few years. I use it frequently, but I don't use it like every day, 12 hours a day. I'm expecting it to last longer. So the trouble I'm having with this light is it just randomly started shutting off. Like I'd be shooting a video, I'd be recording, I'd be working on something, and it would just, boom, it's off. And well, okay, that's not good. So I went over to check and make sure all of my connections and my lights were secure. The bottom XLR plug on the control panel, I touched it, nearly burned my hand. Went and grabbed my thermometer, came back, that thing was reading about 175 degrees. Pretty hot, something you don't wanna just grab. Um, then I took that apart after it cooled off and noticed the bottom part of my light had been melting. Uh, not cool, like not good. So clearly there's some issue there. So I reached out to Aperture on their customer service, which was itself kind of a pain because there's no direct way to reach out. Yeah, you gotta go through and select your product, which my product isn't on there anymore because it's a few years old. And you know what I heard back from customer service? Nothing nothing at all and that sounds like a company who's more interested in selling you brand new products versus a company who wants to help you with the products that you've bought in the past i mean come on it should last more than just a couple of years so i don't know if anybody else has had this problem um, but I'm definitely having this problem with my light and with aperture the good news is i did find a bit of a workaround kind of for this light uh, it still does function on battery power. It pretty much doesn't work for more than a couple of minutes now being plugged in through 120, uh, but put the battery on there and it seems to work just fine, which is an all right solution. But if you're doing a full day job, you need quite a few batteries to get through a full day of running this light. So that's almost the price of a new light to get like four or five, six batteries to run this light throughout the day. Um, one thing I did try is actually plugging the D tap into the battery while the battery is attached and it kind of works. It, it runs at about 50%, uh, 75% it runs for about five minutes and then shuts off. It's just not pulling enough power through a hundred percent. It lasts like less than a minute. Now this may vary on the D tap charger you have for your batteries. If you have this problem know that you can still run your light on batteries for now anyway. I don't know with running power through the battery to use the light. I don't know what effect that's gonna have on the battery, if that's good, bad, doesn't care. Um, but that's it's just a way to get around it and still keep that light functional. Okay, that's, that's my beef with Aperture at the moment. If you stand behind your product, I'm gonna stand behind the company and I'm gonna spend my money with you in the future. If you just give me crickets when I have issues with my lights and it's just like, it doesn't inspire confidence in the company and I'm not going to be spending money with you in the future. That's me. What do you think? Have you had problems with your aperture lights or any other lights? Um, the product itself and or the customer service, let me know. Put that down in the description. I'm curious because I am currently looking for other light solutions for my main light. Like I use my 120 as this light. This is currently not the 120 because it has failed me. I'm currently testing out a Godox light. I think it looks pretty good. I've been using it for approximately 28 minutes now. And so far it's working fine, but you know, I hope things are gonna work fine within 28 minutes. That's what I have for you today. I hope that's helpful. I hope that's informative. If you like this, 
found it useful, anything like that, go ahead and give me that thumbs up down there. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see what I end up using as a replacement for my 120D. Spoiler alert, it's not gonna be another Aperture. Only if they send me one for free. But after this video, I doubt it. I really doubt it. I'm going to do a couple of review videos on the lights that I'm testing out. So uh, if you're interested, hit subscribe, follow me, and I will see you guys then next time.